With grocery prices shooting up to record levels amid soaring inflation, discount retailers like Aldi have become consumer favorites as shoppers struggle to stretch their dollars as far as possible. The popular grocery chain has seen demand ballooning over the past couple of years, but it hasn't been immune to sharp increases in operational costs that ultimately led the company to raise prices on thousands of products. Now, sales are flatlining in many locations, supply chain problems are seemingly back, and the retail apocalypse is forcing Aldi to close up shop in many U.S. cities. The trend is accelerating far faster than economists have predicted, and a new report shows that over 1,000 retail stores are being shuttered across the U.S. as problems in the sector pile up. That's what we're going to expose today. But before moving on, we kindly ask you to support our work with a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our upcoming videos. It's quite frustrating when an unexpected store closing disrupts our shopping routine. We all have our favorite places for dinner, our go-to spot for coffee, and of course our preferred grocery store. In the past seven months, over 60 major retailers have filed for bankruptcy and closed down thousands of stores. Many consumers lost access to their favorite locations, and the bad news is that another massive wave of closings is now underway. Multiple chains just announced that they'll be shuttering stores this summer, which means that your local hub could soon be gone for good. But not just department and retail stores are affected. Several grocery chains are closing up shop, including top stores like Aldi and Walmart. In recent weeks, customers have taken to social media to lament the loss of their favorite budget-friendly supermarket, Aldi. In December, the company has been voted the number one cheapest grocery store to shop in, which attracted new consumers as inflation skyrockets and sends grocery prices to unprecedented highs. Right now, the price of groceries is still about 12% higher than it was a year ago. According to data from the U.S. Labor Department, inflation has also hit grocers, which had to pass along higher operational costs to consumers. And the consequences of such higher prices can already be seen in recent sales reports that showed that cash-strapped Americans are increasingly cutting down on their spending. As a result, grocery giants are having to lay off thousands of workers and shut down underperforming stores in an attempt to survive the current chaos. That has been the case with Aldi. This week alone, the supermarket chain is closing locations in Lower Burrell and Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The shutdowns came after it decided to close up shop in Fort Worth, Texas and Minneapolis, Minnesota just a couple of weeks ago. It's evident that Aldi has not been able to survive the retail crisis unscathed, and reports released by retail blog Best Life reveal that the company is hinting that several locations in Florida, Iowa, Louisiana, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Mississippi, Missouri, New York, Ohio, and South Carolina could be next on the chopping block. Not long ago, the grocer also shuttered a very popular store in the Auburn Gresham neighborhood in Chicago, Illinois. An Aldi spokesperson said that the company's decision to close was based on several factors, including repeated burglaries and declining sales. Customers were very disappointed to see the discount food store go dark, especially because other nearby stores are significantly pricier. I can't afford too much in these other places, shopper Jared Jackson said. Latricia Vettel, one of the city's council members, called Aldi's departure a great loss, adding that she wishes city officials were given more advance notice. I would have loved to intervene as a council member and have the entire council step in and figure out what we could do, Vettel told NBC. Similarly, local resident Samaya Evans lamented the loss of the location and outlined the impact the shutdown will have on the local community. Everybody shops here, Evans said. And you know it's sad because a lot of these people in that building can't afford to go get the groceries elsewhere. They're taking the community's grocery store. 
Unfortunately, very soon many other Aldi customers all around America will feel the same distress Evans is coping with right now. Another problem raised by Aldi's loyal shoppers is that in many stores across the country, they're spotting a very limited variety of products on the shelves. Given that the company's business model is very different from that of Costco and Walmart, it's not uncommon for Aldi to have less inventory than other retailers. But what shoppers are seeing right now goes beyond the occasional empty shelf. Nowadays, Aldi doesn't save me a trip to the regular supermarket, says shopper and Motley Fool's contributor, Maury Backman. When supply chains were all hammered, it was common for me to walk into my regular supermarket and struggle to find something basic like cream cheese or grapes. These days, that's thankfully not an issue anymore. But at Aldi, it is, Backman highlights, adding that shortages of dairy products, meat, cereals, vegetables, and fruits are recurring in many locations across the U.S. I've found that Aldi's product offerings are not very consistent, she continued. There are some weeks when I'll stop in only to find that they don't have strawberries or cucumbers or other common products you'd expect to see at a grocery store. That can be a frustrating thing when you only have time to stop at one store. Inventories are seemingly so tight that now Aldi is imposing purchasing limits on some products to avoid stocks from running out. In a recent press release, the company said it's limiting the purchase of tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, lettuce, salad bags, broccoli, cauliflower, and raspberries to three of each item per customer. We are limiting purchases of peppers, cucumbers, and tomatoes and other vegetables and fruits to ensure that customers can buy what they need. We have introduced a temporary limit of three of each product, so customers can pick up the products they're looking for, an Aldi spokesperson said. The company's associate, Minette Batters, also noted that salad vegetables grown indoors and Vegetables grown in fields, including cauliflowers, potatoes, and purple sprouted broccoli, may also be impacted. I think there are going to be challenges on availability of quite a few food items, she said. At the same time, prices are on the rise again at the food retailer, as reported by Consumer Brand Witch. The firm analyzed inflation on more than 25,000 food and drink products at eight major supermarkets Looking at the average price of the products in the three months to the end of February 2023 compared to the same time period last year, data revealed prices increased most at Aldi. A range of everyday items, including milk, meat, and fruit, and the company's own brand products were particularly hard hit. The findings showed that the budget-friendly grocery chain has been subject to higher rates of inflation than many of its competitors. Last month, the annual price rises of popular food and drink items at Aldi were found to be 16.5% higher than the industry's average of 14%. Which head of food policy, Sue Davies, says, Worryingly, our tracker shows that some everyday essentials have more than doubled in price over the last year, with cheaper own brand items facing the largest increases. Supermarkets need to step up and ensure everyone has easy access to basic, affordable food ranges at a store near them, particularly in areas where people are most in need, she stressed. Retailers must also provide transparent pricing so people can easily work out which products offer the best value. Overall, budget items saw a 22.9% price increase, and supermarket-owned brand items saw a 19.7% cost increase compared to a rise of just 13.8% at other retailers. While discount chains remain generally cheaper than bigger rivals, the report exposed that their prices have risen the most over the past year. Prices are up 28% at Walmart, but in the discount category, Aldi leads the rank, reporting a 22.7% increase. At this point, retailers are doing everything they can to weather the storm, and when price increases hurt their bottom lines because sales volumes start to collapse, they're left with very limited choices. That's why so many brands are also announcing store closings right now. By reducing their retail footprint, 
they can cut costs and offer cheaper prices for their customer base. Earlier this month, Brian Olszewski, Chief Financial Officer for Amazon.com, announced that dozens of Amazon Go convenience stores and Amazon Fresh grocery stores are also closing up shop. In total, Amazon plans to shutter 40 Amazon Fresh stores in six states and Washington, D.C. According to the Amazon Go website, there are currently 28 convenience stores at risk of closure in Chicago, New York City, Seattle, and San Francisco. Retail titan Walmart is also conducting mass store closings. After shutting down all stores in the city of Portland, the chain announced plans to close dozens of locations across Illinois, D.C., Arkansas, Florida, New Mexico, and Wisconsin, which will leave millions of shoppers without their favorite neighborhood grocer. The company noted that due to changing inflationary spending habits and rising theft, the company was forced to higher their prices, and in several locations that led to losses so big that resulted in outright closures in multiple areas. In addition to Aldi, Amazon, and Walmart, Sprouts, which gained popularity across the United States for its niche products and cheap prices, is closing down several stores due to financial underperformance. In February, it revealed that 11 stores are say goodbye forever. The closures will take place in Texas, California, Georgia, Florida, and Washington. Kroger is also facing a similar situation. This week alone, it's closing two locations in the Ohio area, and many more could ensue as losses pile up. Kroger has also been in a period of transition as it sells many stores in the lead-up to its pending merger with Grocer Albertsons. In that process, many beloved stores could disappear for good. Altogether, at least 1,405 stores are set to close across the U.S. by the summer according to an insider tally of announcements by major retailers in 2023. The rationales are varied. Some companies are navigating bankruptcy proceedings, while others say they must cut spending to keep business profitable, the news outlet reported. In California and New York, the mass exodus of retail stores is particularly shocking. The Daily Mail reports that from the 1,405 scheduled closures, about 800 will be concentrated in the two states. Among the iconic names to announce their downsizing include Bed Bath & Beyond, Gap, and Party City. Many brands are forced into desperate cost-cutting measures amid rampant inflation and declining bottom lines, the article exposed. With supply chain issues arising again, Tighter credit conditions impacting the company's finances and the risk of systemic contagion from collapsing banks threatening the entire retail sector. The outlook is bleaker than it ever was. The economic downturn is likely to further damage sales rates and prompt brands to reduce their workforces even more as they concentrate only on the best performing stores. In the retail apocalypse, only the strongest will survive. And that means we might have to say our final goodbyes to our favorite brands sooner than we think. Thank you for watching.